Hi, my name is Max Blomgren, and I teach scoring technology here at Berkeley College of Music in Boston. I'm from Sweden originally, and before joining Berkeley, I spent 20 years in Los Angeles writing music for movies and television. In this episode of Virtual Orchestration, we're going to talk about templates. A template is simply a session that you create in your DAW ahead of time, with all the elements you need already set up and ready to go. Every instrument of the orchestra that you're going to need will be loaded and ready for you to play. Think of it as setting up your ideal workspace. Everything you need for your work should be in reach and well organized. A template can be as simple or as complicated as you like. It all depends on what you're going to be using it for. So let's start from the beginning. When we first open up our DAW, we get an empty session with nothing in it. No tracks, no sounds, no effects, no anything. It's a blank canvas. You now have to spend at least 5 to 10 minutes adding tracks and loading up samples. For a full orchestral mock-up, you can easily spend an hour or more. That's tedious work, and it can be a real creativity killer. If you're anything like me, you want to just fire up your DAW and start writing music. And this is where the template comes in. Templates are an essential tool for anyone who creates orchestral mockups. Working with templates will not only save you lots of time, it will make you more creative, because you can use them to bypass a lot of prep work and get right to the business of making music. For example, this is a template that I use when I just want to quickly record some musical idea. All it contains is a nice piano sound loaded in contact, a tempo track, a time signature track, and a marker track, so I can make little notes to myself. Couldn't be simpler. Here's an example of a much bigger template. This is a full orchestral template that I created for a movie that I scored recently. It took me about half a day to load up all the instruments, add effects, and get everything set up just the way I like it. That seems like a lot of time to spend just on setup. And it is. But the point is that I could then use this template for the entire movie. In other words, Whenever I started on a new cue, I would simply pull up this template, set the right tempo, and start playing. And there were a total of 37 cues in that movie. So imagine the amount of time I saved by spending that half day setting it all up. When you work in film scoring, time is always of the essence. And the time saved pre-setting your session is time that you can better spend writing your cue. Besides saving time, working from a template also ensures consistency. When you're working on a movie or some other big project, you want every cue to have a consistent sound. The whole score should sound cohesive. And the simplest way to accomplish that cohesiveness is to start every cue from the same template. This ensures that the samples will be the same, the reverbs and effects will be the same, and the basic mix will be the same. Everything remains consistent. Now, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple template for string orchestra. I'll be working in Cubase, but the same principles will apply for Logic, Pro Tools, or any other DAW. So let's get started. Now before we load up our instruments, there are some essential tracks that we need to add first. We need a signature track to enter our time signatures, and we need a tempo track for tempo changes. I like to always have a piano sound available to try out ideas quickly, so let's add that as well. A marker track is useful, so you can mark important points in the music. And if you're writing music to picture, you want to add a track to put your video on. Now it's time to add our instruments. Since we're building a basic string orchestra template, we'll need five tracks. First violins, second violins, violas, cello, and basses. We'll be using the Berlin Orchestra for this template. So let's go ahead and add five instances of the sign player. Then we'll name our tracks properly and start loading up the sounds. I like to use key switches to change articulations, so we just need one track per instrument, but you could also create a separate track for each articulation. In the Berlin Orchestra library, the sustained articulations load without vibrato by default. That's a great option to have, but I'm going to want vibrato most of the time, so I'll go ahead and turn it on. Remember, 
The point here is to set everything up just the way you like it. And we are almost done with our template. We just need to go to the file menu, save as template, and give it a sensible name, like Berlin String Orchestra Template. And now, the next time we're writing for strings, all we need to do is pull up our template, and we're ready to make some music. Have you ever tried creating a template? Did you run into any issues? How do you like to set things up? Let me know in the comments.